Hi, and welcome back to Lisa's Stamp Studio. This is week three in my series on my craft room tour. And today we're focusing on storage for dies and embossing folders. I've got some great tips for you using products both that you can find at any store as well as Ikea. For those of you that are visiting for the first time, down in the video description below, you're going to be able to find shopping links for you. That's going to make things a lot easier. And while you're here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming series or the other videos that I share. Be sure to click the small bell icon that's next to it so that you can receive notifications of when I'm live here on YouTube as well as when those new videos are uploaded. My first helpful storage solution is regarding this IKEA box. This storage box just snaps together, is incredibly inexpensive. I love the heavy duty cardboard construction, perfect for embossing folders. I love the hinged metal grasp here so that you can pull it in and out of shelves or tabletop surfaces. It does come with a lid, but because of the size of the embossing folders and of course the number that you place in here over time, I found that the lid really wasn't conducive. But I wanted to make sure that I saved it, so I stored it on the bottom just in case I should ever repurpose this box. Inside of here, you're going to see that I have numerous size embossing folders. Everything from simple edge folders to standard size, including 6x6 folders as well. There are 40 embossing folders already inside this box with plenty of room to spare. As another solution, think about shoe boxes. Those work as well. My next storage tip is regarding dies. I love this basket. I purchased this at Marshalls for $7.99. The reason it's so sturdy is it because it has a metal rim that goes all the way around the top that's been woven with some fibers. It makes it really easy to lift and again slide in and out of shelving. Make sure that you're going to measure your widest package of dies so that you can get a basket the appropriate size. This one has over 40 dies in it as well and I've measured to make sure that my smallest to my very largest are going to be able to fit in here. In fact, there's so much room that I actually had to stick a small container in the back to absorb some of that space since they were sliding. Basket construction is important, but my best tip is to make sure that it has a nice metal frame so that it's strong enough when you lift it and to support the weight of all the dies. My final tip is for those large Sizzix dies, better known as Biggs dies. I've had these for a number of years and storing them is a bit cumbersome because of their thickness. This box was purchased at Home Goods for about $16. It does have a solid wood frame all the way around it. It is a heavy construction. Love the handle again so I can slide it in and out of my Calex IKEA unit as well as a tabletop surface. The thickness of the die of course with this many together makes the box quite heavy so don't skimp on the storage solution for these. Make sure you get something that's going to be able to accommodate them. There are 11 dies inside this box right now and you can see that there's room for about two or three more easily. This is a very affordable solution and of course it looks really nice as well. So it's going to be a great decorative addition to your craft room. There's lots of great ways for storage. These are just a few. I would love to hear your feedback. How do you store your dies and embossing folders? Pop a comment down in the section of the video below. I would love to hear from you. If you've missed the other videos in this series, you can watch videos one and two over on my YouTube channel under Lisa's Stamp Studio Craft Room Tour. And of course, I'll link them down in the video description to make it easy for you. Come back next week. You're not going to want to miss the next video in this tour series. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Have a great day.